Hello and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. Happy Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I hope yeah. you all are. Woohoo! Yeah. I hope you all are celebrating his life, his legacy, everything he uh, worked for in his life. It's so beautiful being able to be in this day and age and seeing all the hard things that he worked for coming to fruition. Coming to please be quiet. So me and my husband and my brother are on our way nah, to see. Bad if I ran over his motorcycle. Uh, uh, yeah, it would have really ruined the vlog, but you're ruining it now by talking about it. <laughs> We're getting ready to go see Ride Along with uh, Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. Um, not to think that that has anything to do with Dr. King's mission in life, other than the fact that it's great to see two black males on the screen together. I feel like the arts is one of the places where integration happened quicker than it did in other aspects of society. Um, yeah, you agree? I agree. Yeah. Uh, so in that way, the arts are, are huge when it comes to the, the vision of Dr. King. Actors in Hollywood have always been a, a huge part of the movement in equality and in civil rights and things of that nature. So it's great to see, like I said, that um, you can see people of all different color breaking through um, barriers in entertainment and in um, the arts industry. So really quickly, before I let you all go to celebrate the man I thought was my daddy until the age of five. Yes, I did think Martin Luther King was my father. And I cried every Dr. King day because I was like, they didn't kill my daddy. Um, but we won't go into why I thought that, but I did. Um, uh, before I go into that, I need to thank a subscriber whose name I cannot remember right now. I meant to link it up before I left the house, who gave me this great idea. Mondays, we're going to start something called Ask Angel. My subscribers, I feel like you all always ask me the best questions, but usually I end up having to answer them in the comment box of my videos. Well, now you all can ask me a question either via Twitter or Facebook, or you can actually leave the comment in, underneath one of these videos. So, what you can do to leave it on Twitter is, one, follow me on Twitter at Angel the Actress. That's A-N-G-E-L-T-H-E, Actress. A-C-T-R-E-S-S. -S. So, follow me on Twitter, and then when you have a question, use the hashtag AskAngel. I'll be able to find you easily that way. And you can ask me whatever you want, whether it be about family, whether it be about religion, whether it be about relationships, clothing, makeup, shopping, hair, any of that stuff. And then I'll choose a couple of questions to answer in my Monday video. So this way we can have a more of a dialogue. I like being able to give you all opportunities to kind of like move my channel some. Um, you all seem to like my randomness. So I'm going to let you all have some control over that randomness. I think that sounds good. So. Um, dear brother, since you are one of my subscribers, I think, if you're not, just pretend like you are. You, uh, I'm going to have both of you ask me a question. Ooh, ooh, there's my, my baby back there. Say hello. Yes. Ask me uh, <laughs> ask me a question, baby doll, brother. Um, ask you a question. Yeah. You show people what Ask Angel is like. It, look, you would ask me a question. Going. I would ask you, Angel, what is so significant? about MLK Day and honoring Dr. Martin Luther King? Well, good question. So timely. So timely. My husband's phone's always ringing. So um, the significance of celebrating MLK Day is that, you know what, especially in today's educational system, a lot of history is not taught. Um, and I'm not just talking about African-American history, but a lot of people don't know their cultural history and how it pertains to the growth of America. So having a special day like MLK Day is a time where people are forced to explain things to their children because children are going to want to know why are they out of school. Well, um, MLK, Dr. Martin Luther King, he's not Michael Jackson, okay? He's not, he's not Beyonce. Um, he's a man who had a greater purpose, who dedicated his life to the equality of all folks. So it doesn't just pertain to black people, even though he was an African-American man. It pertains to all people. It pertains to immigrants. It pertains to... Um, the gay and lesbian community. It pertains to people who want to um, to uh, practice different religions. So it affects everyone. So I think it's one of those um, holidays that you have to celebrate because it's not just about our community. It's about everyone's community. Okay, so you don't have to ask me deep questions like that. You can ask me a non-deep question. What's, what's the question you got for me, babe? I'm oh, sorry, the sun is really getting us. I'm talking to you, husband. Mm -hmm. Oh, question? Yeah. Because I want to end the video soon. Oh, why? Let me see. Why are so many people in the entertainment industry weird? 
So, my husband thinks all of my friends are weird, including myself. He's a little weird, too. Um, I feel like we, uh, as entertainers and artists, we um, are always trying to come up with ways to express ourselves, to, um, to be able to tap into who we are because it's very easy to get lost in this industry and forget who you are so sometimes that weirdness is just trying to figure out what do you like in accepting what you like and accepting that everything doesn't have to be um the norm so yeah it doesn't have to be black or white there's gray there's magenta people there's a lot of different colors in it so yes yeah, sometimes it goes a little overboard where i'm just like I, you just too weird for me to hang out with i feel like i have some normalcy in my life but yes i think because actors and artists are always you consider yourself normal sometimes yeah that's the only normal thing you got whatever i think because we're always trying to tap into a greater sense of self a greater essence of who we are that, that that could come off as weirdness because uh, I think some of the actors that are really um, uh, acknowledged as being great actors are probably some of the weirdest people. That's true. Like Johnny Depp, and not just actors. Think of artists. Yeah, Michael that's true. Jackson, yeah. one great. very weird people, but it's successful. <laughs> very successful too. <laughs> and I think it's because they no longer feel like they have to be contained by what is considered norms. They're willing to really experience whatever they need to experience to become better as artists. There you go. Does that answer the question? I like that answer. Thank you, Zom. That's, that's what I do. Off the dome. All right, you guys. Y'all know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. Y'all know it's That Chick Angel TV. I'll be doing um, my vision board later this week and doing a DIY on that to show you. Is that how... Do it yourself here. Yeah, DIY on that to show you how to put together a vision board if you've never done one. Or at least a goal sheet of how to direct your 2014 because I just went to a vision board party. Make sure you comment below on something you want to ask me for next Monday. Either comment below or tweet me with the hashtag AskAngel or put it on my Facebook page at That Chick Angel and you can leave a comment there. Um, and please share, share a like. I'm at 3,000 subscribers now. What? I love you all. That's right, baby. You better cheer. You better cheer. Um, check me out on TMV. We're still posting, uploading every um, Thursday. Y'all know where we're at. I hope you all are enjoying that. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful MLK Day. Love you all. Bye. Bye.